Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Are you looking for a budget laptop that you can use for your light office work, like spreadsheets or for your home schooling? Then you'll be very interested in this product that I'm going to talk about in this video. This is a product from Koo. This is the U-Book M and it's a 13.5 inch laptop with a 3000 by 2000 screen resolution, which we're going to talk about later in this video. Now, first things first, the price. The price of this laptop is about 13,999 and it also has a pro version which will cost you about 17,999 pesos. Now in this video we are going to talk more about the Yobook M which is the 13,999. Now let's take a look on what's inside and is it worth your money? Now when you open the box there will be like a Koo pouch, a white simple pouch with a brand of Koo. And then after it is the laptop itself which is already inside a laptop bag which is really good. I mean, they included already the bag. So the bag has like a, a furry velvet cushion inside and just one partition at the front. Now there's also an envelope. Inside you can take a look at the warranty and the manuals. They have also included a wireless mouse. But this one is very random. I can see on the product reviews, some buyers got like a gaming mouse thing. Uh, it's just a freebie and it's a really random freebie. They've also included a mouse pad, a very simple one. And this one I did not expect, but they've gave me a neckband earphone, which is a wireless one from Lenovo. It's a model HE01. Now that was quite a lot inside the box. I did not expect a lot of freebies inside it. All right, so here is the laptop. First impression, it's very, very portable. And I really like this matte texture here, which is specified on the box that it's made out of polycarbonate plus ABS plastic. Then it's very durable. This matte texture is a really good choice as it will not attract a lot of fingerprints when you're using it. And also the dust can be removed easily. Now you can see a small branding here at the edge of the laptop. Now it has a very simple hinge here. And at the bottom, you can see four rubber feet without any exhaust for the fans. And there's also a slot here for most likely it's for the storage. Now you can also see a gap here at the center where you can put your fingertips there and open it up. Now when you open the laptop, this is how far the screen can go. It doesn't really have like a 180 degree angle feature. Now it has a very huge trackpads here. Now on this version, the U-Book M only has a standard keyboard with no backlit features. There is also no fingerprint sensor or scanner like the Pro One have. And the speakers are located at the top of the keyboard. Really simple. And on top of that, there is also an indicator for the power, the caps lock. And the third one will be the charging. Now let's move on to the connectivity. So in terms of connectivity, it has a one USB 3 port, which is a type A. And after that, is the charging port which is the 3.5 mm 12 volt then after that is the led indicator for the charging and the tv out which is a mini hdmi now on the other side it has also a usb 3 type a port which i've already put the dongle of the freebie mouse that they gave after that is the 3.5 mm jack for your audio or your microphone and then we have a micro sd card slot and this tiny hole here i think this one is would be a microphone so that's about it on the connectivity there is really nothing much but for me having a LAN port on my laptop is very important to me so i just bought a like a usb to to LAN adapter this one only cost about 200 plus pesos uh, i put the link down on the description below if you want one now let's talk about the most exciting part of this laptop and that's the screen. Now this is where the product really shines. It has a 3000 by 2000 resolution which looks really really great. And having that 3 by 2 ratio on a 13.5 inch laptop is way much more better. Now if you compare this to other known brands like Acer or Asus or Lenovo which have this kind of resolution and within this price range, most likely you won't find one. Having a 3K resolution can make a big difference. You can do multitasking on light programs much better compared to full HD resolution. Plus it's really clear and pleasing to look at. Now let's take a look at the hardware specs of this model. Now it has an Intel Celeron N4020. Now this is a dual core with two threads and it has a speed of 1.1 gigahertz based and turbo boost at 
2.8 gigahertz now for the graphics there's really nothing much it's a intel uhd graphics 600 it has a ddr4 6 gig of ram and as for the storage it has a m.2 128 gigabyte ssd now for the battery it has a 5000 mAh, which is specified on the box that it has an endurance of six hours now let's test this laptop and let's test first the web camera which is very useful for online class and for like video calls for office works now here i'm currently recording now at the web camera here so this is how the web camera looks like on this laptop which i should say it's pretty decent it's not really that good but at least it has a format of you know it has a 16 by 9 format which looks pretty good usually for laptops i don't really expect much from a web camera but but this web camera is actually pretty good for its price now it's very simple to improve this you just need to buy a third party web camera like this logitech c920 here this will greatly improve your video calls if you really need it but for online class this is definitely okay and this is good enough so webcam pass now having a 3k resolution screen means that you can play i mean you can enjoy watching high resolution videos so let's try to play a video here like a 2k resolution video or maybe even a 4k resolution video and let's see if it can really run it properly now i'm currently playing a 1080p resolution and as suspected it can run properly now i'm currently playing a 1440p with a 60 frames per second video and it seems to be buffering a lot i think the the cpu can't really handle that much of a resolution as you can see the it's not about the internet anymore since it's already been loaded so it's more on the hardware that can take it but it is still playable though for the 1440p now how about we try to adjust it to 4k as you can see it's lagging a lot it's not even watchable this is a 4k video here and as you can see it's lagging a lot so definitely a big no for playing 4k videos on this laptop all right so 4k videos is not playable well 1440p videos you can actually watch it uh it's viewable but there's a bit of lag on it but it's viewable now i won't be testing the sounds as usually sounds on the laptop whatever the brand is it's just it's just not good so i'll just pass on testing that one now let's go for the keyboard the keyboard experience and the trackpad now this is a full-size keyboard uh, which is the layout is really really good i mean the arrow keys are not the small type kind of arrow keys i really hate those and um, the fn button is very useful you can turn off the Wi-Fi here. You can switch to airplane mode. You can adjust the volume. You can adjust the brightness here. For those of you who are asking if there's a numpad, of course there's, you can't find a numpad at this very compact keyboard, but they've put an FN and uh, there's also a num lock here. You just hold the FN here and click the F9, which is the num lock. Then you will have a full usable numpad here just mark as blue colors which i find it really helpful now as for the trackpad it's really really good i mean it's very simple there's really not, nothing no signs at all which is really good it's a very simple trackpad but what i like about this is that it's a very wide trackpad for a very small laptop like this all right so i think that's about it for testing the product you can also multitask but not too much as the cpu is not really that powerful enough to handle multitasking a lot so what's the pro and the cons for this how about we go for the pros first pro number one it's very very portable as you can see i can hold it comfortably with just one hand and that makes a big difference now this is really important for me i mean being portable since you really need it to be light when you're going on the go or like traveling a lot so it's very very light you can take this anywhere um, comfortably 
And this is what actually makes me like this product. It's because of its portability. Now pro number two, and it's the 3K resolution screen. When I first saw the screen of this budget laptop, I was so amazed. I didn't know that I was looking at 13,999 laptop. As you can see, the bezels is not really that thick. It's a really thin bezels. And you can't really find that on other brands. And the screen is a three by two ratio screen, which was about the same as the Microsoft Surface, which looks really great, by the way. Now, pro number three, it has a very nice keyboard layout. Now, when I was working on my spreadsheets, it's just very comfortable. I'm not really used on typing on laptops. I usually work on mechanical keyboards. I don't usually work on the laptop itself, but this one is very comfortable and the layout is really not that different from a mechanical keyboard, which was really a big plus for me. Although the problem was just there's no backlit on this on this model. Well, if you have the budget, you can buy the pro version where there is a backlit. And I really love this wide trackpad here at the bottom. Now pro number four, and it's the texture of the laptop itself. It has this very nice texture on it, which is using a polycarbonate and an ABS plastic, which looks and feel very sturdy. I really like matte texture. I don't like glossy stuff because they're gonna attract a lot of fingerprints. Now, I just said all the good stuff. Now, I'm gonna tell you the cons. Con number one, this model only has a 2.4 Wi-Fi network. It means that it can't really connect to a 5 gigahertz network, which is way much more better than the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, having a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi isn't all that bad. It can get up to 80 Mbps max or 90 Mbps max. But if you have an internet that is way much more higher than that, you can't really enjoy that using this wireless laptop here. But 2.4 gigahertz for online schooling or video calls should be way more than enough. Now, con number two, uh, the keyboard has no backlit. So during nighttime, it's really quite difficult to work, but you can always choose the pro version if you really need it. It's just a feature that I think is a must, but hey, it's a budget laptop. You can really expect them to put a lot of features on it. Now, con number three, it's about the CPU. Well, Intel Celeron N4020 is not really a high-speed CPU, it's just a waste that you have a 3000 by 2000 screen and you can't really enjoy it that much since the CPU is not really that powerful enough. For the RAM, it should be okay since it has a 6 gig of RAM and the graphics, well, the graphics is just enough. All right, so that's it for the pros and cons. So who is this laptop for? Now, this laptop is more on portability and productivity. It's meant for online class and doing spreadsheets for office works. It's for people who are looking for a laptop that can do internet browsing, uh, watching videos, and you know, you can also do some simple paint stuff if you have to. This is not for consumers who are looking for a photo and video editing laptop, and definitely not for gaming. Now, for the conclusion, can I use this laptop? Well, yes, definitely. I can see myself using this laptop on the go and when I'm working with my spreadsheets. And I really love how crisp the IPS display on this laptop with the 3000 by 2000 resolution screen. Although it can't really play 4K videos though, since the CPU and the GPU isn't really powerful enough to do that. Now, the other reason I really like this product is because of how portable it is. Look, I have this laptop like... Uh, this is a 15.6 inch laptop. It's not really that portable. I mean, you can carry it with one hand, but it's not, it's quite heavy. I've been using this laptop for about eight months now, and I've been carrying it around on the go, and it's not really that comfortable. And what's worse is that I have to carry this bulky brick type adapter, uh, which is really, really bulky when you're gonna put it inside your bag. Now the charging adapter for this laptop is way much more portable. It's just like carrying a, a phone charger, which is pretty handy, isn't it? Now, let me know down on the comments below on what you think about this product. Would you buy it or is it a pass? Now, if you want to get this laptop, I've put the link down on the description below. Don't forget to leave a like if you find this 
video helpful and hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a video about tech and gadgets. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.